the content is designed to be pedagogically exploited on an interactive whiteboard. For this demonstration, we will use an interactive whiteboard. As you can see, the resources are divided into units, each of which contain e-flashcards, e-story cards and e-posters. Let's look at an example of the e-flashcards. All the unit vocabulary appears in miniature at the bottom of the screen, in the form of an index or menu. The images are at this height so that the children can easily reach if the teacher decides to call them to the front of the class to participate. The general menu is at the top left and allows the teacher to control the activity if desired. This menu is out of the children's reach. We can either select the desired image directly or follow the order of the general menu. All images can be seen with both words and sound. Tongue. Let's look at the e-story cards. The design of the menu and story frames is identical to the e-flashcards. This makes it easy to use. The format of the activities is repeated and quickly becomes familiar and easily recognisable. We can either see and listen to the whole story selecting Auto in the main menu. A dragon in the kitchen. It's Friday night. The children are in bed and the house is very quiet. Then suddenly... Or choose one frame in particular using the manual option. In both cases there is also the option to read the narrator's lines and the character speech bubbles by setting the text button. In this way, the activity can be used to work on the two separate skills as the teacher prefers. The advantage of working with this type of material is that there is no need to combine the use of story cards with CD players and the teacher does not waste time looking for the track which corresponds to the story. And finally, let's look at the e-posters. Each unit of Sparks has a double-sided poster with a selection of cutouts and listening activities to work with. In the main menu, the teacher can see which side of the poster, A or B, is displayed and whether or not a listening activity is available. The cutouts always appear at the bottom of the screen as these are the pieces which the children will need to work with. Richmond has digitalised the traditional resources which normally accompany a primary course and this has several advantages. Digital material does not deteriorate with use. There is no need to tidy away or organise the materials at the end of the class. It is much easier to transport from one classroom to another and it also allows the children to participate much more in activities. This makes the teacher's job much simpler and allows more time for practising the language in class instead of looking for and preparing the necessary materials.